hey my loves welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing this face please don't make it your last stick around i have fashion related content lifestyle everything in between for you guys if you are an og and you are a new subscriber thank you guys we hit 500 subscribers and still counting i've been receiving nice comments from you guys and i feel so loved i'm so grateful for you guys i love you guys so much thank you don't go anywhere just stay with me don't leave me be with me thank you today guys i am back with another fashion related video because that is what we're doing this year and today we're talking about the wearable trends of 2024 you know before now i'd see outfits on the runway and i'll be wondering who's gonna wear that how are they gonna wear that but then i now realize that you do not have to copy and paste outfits that you're picking like you're seeing from the wrong way you can actually pick the color pick the texture pick the style some styles from it you can actually like pick one or two stuffs from the wrong way and incorporate it into your outfit so you do not have to necessarily copy and paste what you have on the runway so today we're going to be talking about trends that came in from last year and that we're going to be seeing a lot more this year 2024 is such a feminine year it's actually the year where the girls who love to be girls the girly girls get to express themselves more you're going to see more of bows more of lace more of sheer more of everything girly pink you know girls that really like pink and like big fan of pink are really really going to enjoy this year i'm gonna go through how to style pink for the girlies like us who are not big big fans of pink we're gonna go through how to style pink in a way that pleases us and not go overboard with pink we're gonna talk about other styles that are making a comeback and how we can style them without looking ridiculous in it and all of that so let's get into the video also in the feminine season the feminine year for the girlies you're going to be seeing a lot of dresses this year like the girlies have started wearing more dresses more feminine dresses and their soft girl era their princess era and i think i have joined that trend of being in the soft princess girl era because who's not a princess we're all princesses so first off this dress it's light pink blush blush pink if that is the thing this is blush pink and i like how long it is it has this what is this called some type of i don't want to say crystal but some type of thingy on the body i'm going to find out what this is called but this is it really really feminine really really cute one thing i believe you should do more if you're trying to step into your feminine year is to accessorize all those girly denty necklaces denty earrings pearls do what you can we're gonna style it with this pearl necklace and this pair of heels would have done a pointy toe but i didn't bring it out so if you see me wearing it i might wear it with a pointy toe i might wear it with this so it's giving very neutral tone and all of that you're gonna be seeing girls look really really good in their princess dresses in their long dresses they want to look good they want to be treated as such some women have come to terms with the fact that the way you look is the way you be addressed so when you look feminine when you dress good and you smell good you'll be addressed in a very soft sweet manner so this is the first look we had a serious wave of old money aesthetic everybody was trying to look like they have old money and all of that i think it still matches with the soft feminine princess era vibe because everybody wants to be soft nobody wants to look like they're going through anything everybody just wants when you look at them you know that they're living the life so these trends these aesthetics actually are intertwined so you're in your soft girl era it means you can get into your princess aesthetic you can get into your old money aesthetic because it is the soft girl era it is the feminine era the old money era old money aesthetic has a lot of basics to it so if you have basics you can literally pull this off just check into your wardrobe find your white shirt find your black pants find your blue shirts 
whatever shirts you have just find a tailored pants to complement it and you're good to go so for us how would i style the old money aesthetic i would do it with this pair of shorts it was actually longer if you've followed me for a while you know that this was longer we had to turn it into shorts which i really really love i love the tailoring it is next tailoring brand so i love the fit of these pants so we're going to style it with a white shirt giving us that old money vibe we can actually decide to style this with a pair of heels or we can actually just go with a pair of flats you can even style it with a pair of sneakers to give you that elevated vibe but for today we're going to style it with this pair of flats and we're going to be matching it with this so to give us that soft old money i'm a trust fund baby kind of vibe we're gonna be doing this one other trend that is really making a comeback for the girls is actually the bow trend everybody's having a bow on their christmas tree on their tights on their lace whatever they have they just make a bow out of it and i'm sorry i am not a fan of that trend i just find it i don't know i, I don't know i just think it's too much I mean, if you're going to have a bow on your hair, makes sense. But having bows on your lace stockings, I mean, if it's a black lace stockings and you're having a pink uh, line of bows, doesn't just sit well with me. But I do not hate it because the girlies that pull it off, pull it off beautifully, the dresses, is not just for me. But you're going to be seeing a lot of bows. Because on the Christmas tree last year, there was bow. Everything. The girlies are like... Even so when they did like this and they have like a bow on the finger, well, it is not my type of thingy. So we'll skip. But instead of having bows, 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 we're just going to have sheer tights. We're going to have less tights, you know, just step into your feminine era. Just, <laughs> you must not put bow in it, you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Like I said, you must not add bows to your sheer tights, to anything, to actually feel very feminine. So the next trend we're going to be talking about is going to be lace. It really made a comeback last year. The girlies are loving lace. It's really soft. It's really, really feminine. That is what this year is all about. So if I want to wear less, I'll wear a less stockings. Most times I just like to put on a dress with this less stockings or maybe a skirt on top of it. I've not tried the less on less trend, but I would love to. So I have this less next body suit that I've owned for a long time now. And I would like to try it with, it's actually two different um, designs. I would love to try with this less stockings. So to style it, it's going to be my less stockings, my less bodysuit my black skirt and my pair of palms you guys i have not tried this so we are all going to be seeing it for the first time we're all going to see what this looks like for the first time so tell me if you like it because i think it's going to look very very feminine you can wear it to the club you can wear it to places where you're not mandated to be all covered and all of that so maybe you have like a house party and you guys want to dress up for it or you have like dinner to places that you can just wear whatever you like or maybe you're going to a lounge and all of that so it is really 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 feminine so yeah the next trend has to be a colorful one and not just any color it is white white is one of the trends of 2024 we saw it from last year people were into white and it's not just any type of white it's not just throwing on a plain white shirt it was lacy it had designs on them and all of that and you do not have to one thing about fashion is this you do not have to have what every other person is having before you can join the trend you can have what you have and then you are part of the trend that is what it is that is what happens when you stock a lot of staples because black is a trend right now you pick up your black shirts you're wearing it white is a trend right now you pick up your white shirt you have a blue shirt blue is trending you have oh i have a blue shirt in my wardrobe 
you pick it up you are part of the trend so you do not have to constantly be buying what everybody's buying and then when it's out of vogue you now have to start thinking oh i don't i don't have dresses anymore or i don't have clothes anymore i have to give them out the whole idea of buying clothes is to wear them for a while because you bought them with your money and most of them are not cheap so to join the white trend we're not going to be doing white on white if we want to do white on white we'll do white on white we're going to be doing these white pants which if i tell you guys the truth i have not worn these white pants outside my house since i got it for like three years now i just buy clothes come on here show you guys and put them back in my wardrobe so we're going to be styling these white pants with this top it's giving casual chic vibe you can actually style it with a pair of heels if you want to so we're styling it with this pair of flats so this is what it's gonna look like it's actually a different shade of brown compared to this one but i don't think that's much of a problem so this is it the next trend that is really making a comeback i think it started it started making waves early last year it's actually really making a comeback you can see the fashion girl is doing a thing with it has to be colored pantyhose you guys i used to find it very weird that we were wearing colored pantyhose it didn't just make sense to me but one day i told myself i'm gonna buy this colored pantyhose and i'm gonna try to style them and i think i really really like it because it brings out the creative side in you and it's really really beautiful when you put it together it is really tricky but when you do it right you look really really amazing so to style this we're gonna be doing this navy blue pantyhose i didn't want to do the whole red maroon pantyhose i've actually seen it already you've not seen it check my videos and check my page on instagram you'll see it so today we're doing this navy blue pantyhose and we're now bringing in the white trend again so we're doing it with this white dress with low back and low front and to style it we're gonna be styling it with a pair of arms will it match yeah i think it will i didn't want to do the black pantyhose thing because it will still look very cute but i just wanted to do a navy blue pantyhose if i have like a navy blue shoe i would style it with a ball but doing it with a pair of black pumps today one trend that i don't think will ever get out of style no matter how much we try has to be the sequence style the sequence trend it is always coming back because the girl is love the shimmering thing they love glitters they love to look good and all of that so you don't have to do sequin from head to toe no you don't even have to do full sequin because for this video i am going to be styling this way shimmering a uh, sequin like this is sequin is this sequin i don't know if it's sequin we're going to be styling this so you do not have to do oh because everybody's wearing sequin i have to wear sequin if you have something like this in your wardrobe to style this, we're gonna bring out our amazing pair of shoes. I wanted to do it with gold, but gold doesn't match it that much. So this is the best option for this pair of shoes. This is really cute. This is how we're gonna be styling it. So you don't have to, oh, I don't have sequin, I don't have sequin. But you have something that looks like it. You have something that's like that. So you don't need to buy an item for every event shop your wardrobe ladies one trend that really really sprung up from nowhere last year i think towards the end of last year is the suit trend the ladies are really really liking the whole pants vibe the half jacket vibe everybody's just getting into it and trust your girl to get into it too <laughs> so to be a part of this trend i got this beautiful suede jacket it is so cute you guys the detailing the material everything is so cute and when i saw it i was like okay i need something to match it with and i found this beautiful tailored pants the colors match my dear the colors match so to style this we're gonna be doing this on this with my palms you guys it's giving office girl look it's giving boss girl look you know this is what we're going to study with i think you can actually pair with a pair of flats maybe sneakers maybe 
pair of slippers if you want to but i'm gonna be styling with this pair of flats you guys these shoes are so beautiful i recently just got them and i've not gotten an opportunity to wear it outside yet but they are really really cute so this is another way i'll show you how to rock the pink girly trend without doing so much without bathing yourself in pink without wearing pink hair pink shoes pink clothes and looking funny this is for girls like me who don't like to do all those things so i would pair my pink turtleneck top to my navy blue pants and just put on my pumps you could actually like wear this to work it really really works you could wear this to work or if i want to you know bring up the whole boss bay vibe i would pair this with this jacket and my pumps because why giving that boss babe monday morning i'm ready for business type of vibe and you can just pull off the jackets and just wear your pink top and your pants trousers to have lunch with your friends later in the day or you can actually remove sorry guys or you can actually remove the pink top and just wear your jackets and your pants to have lunch with the girls it works both ways Another trend we're going to be seeing more of is going to be that preppy girl look, the school girl look, because everybody's having ties. <clears throat> everybody's having ties now. Everybody's having stockings. Everybody's having a pair of loafers. And it is really, really beautiful to see. So, to style this, I didn't want to bring out my scatter skirts. I mean, you guys have seen my scatter skirts over and over again. So, I'll style it differently this time. I'll do it with this pair of black skirts that I've owned for the longest time. And I'm going to style it with my black crop top. I would easily wear a short black dress for this fit. But I just want to style things up with a skirt and a top. To style it with my tweed cropped jacket. You guys, you know when trends come and you're like, ah, do I even have this? Then you look into your wardrobe and you realize, oh, I have tweed. For real, I have tweed. So that's the energy I go when I'm like, oh, I have tweed. Everybody's wearing tweed now, so I have it too. So we we'll style this with a pair of black stockings i would easily wear this with my pumps i mean it switches up the whole look but for the school girl preppy vibe i'm gonna do my pair of loafers i actually wear a pair of socks with this outfit and you see look very cute very school girly i want to buy a tie i want to buy a black tie white tie all colors of ties because i want to join this school girl vibe i mean all those skater skirts i got would wear themselves so we have to style it anyhow and anyhow we can style it yeah. the last thing i am going to talk about is going to be to accessorize let us try to invest in accessories this year i'm speaking for myself and for all the girlies that are not a big fan of accessorizing let us try our best to accessorize this year buy that necklace buy that belt that belt that looks really dramatic looks really cute buy it you could just throw it on a basic dress and it will change and elevate the whole look buy that necklace buy that earrings buy bracelets just buy a lot of accessories because they change your outfit game 100 they turn the outfit from a basic outfit to a 90s fit to a 2000s fit and all of that so yes with that guys we've come to the end of this video please, please let me know which of these outfits is your fave let me know what you would style differently the trends of 2024 which one are you rooting for which one will you be wearing more which one would you want them to kick out if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to tell your friends don't forget to subscribe we're hitting 1000 subscribers soon Thank you so much guys for watching and to my new subscribers i love you guys so much thank you so much i love you guys so much we'll see you guys in the next video bye